All right, well, I just got back from taking my nephew to see that new Buzz Lightyear movie, and guess what? It's woke garbage. That's right. I've been warning you people for years about the dangers of wokeness, inclusivity, and now here we are. Here we are. Huh? With lesbians in our children's entertainment. And for all of you people who refuse to heed my warning, all I have to say to you is you get what you effing deserve. That's a line from Joker, my favorite movie. Now let's see that lesbian kiss. Ugh, my nephew had to see that. But why? Why is that in the movie? To fulfill some sort of quota? I'll tell you what, this woke agenda is truly sinister. There's evil among us, my friends, and the only upside I can see to all of this is that now I have another six months of material to complain about right here on Woke Watch with Eric. Let's start the show. Now, I don't want anyone else to have to pay for this piece of shit woke movie. That's why I went to the theater with a camera and recorded the entire thing. Here, here we go. God damn it. Why, why won't this stupid thing focus? Hey, shh. Don't judge me, you fucking cut. Yeah, so I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown of the movie. Uh, spoilers ahead. Not that you care because it's woke bullshit. But uh, the movie begins with Lightyear getting bossed around by this chick, whoever she is. And that's red flag number one. And we all know why. And then Buzz Lightyear fucks up and gets everybody stranded on a dangerous planet. Then in order to get everyone off the planet, they have to, like, uh, get hyperspace working. So Buzz Lightyear goes off and tests out this hyperspace drive. But every time he does it, it costs four years back at the planet where everybody is. So while he's doing this over and over and over again, time just keeps passing. Everybody on the planet's getting old and dying and having lesbian sex. That's that's where the lesbian kiss is. It's it's right here when when they're super old. Oh, and here's how my theater reacted to that. Woo! Oh, Woo! Oh, yeah. That's so hot. Do it again. That's right. Everybody in my theater was getting off to it. This is just too sexual for children. Anyway, so back to the plot. Buzz Lightyear finally breaks hyperspace and then lands back on the planet one last time, 22 years later, and the planet's been invaded by an evil robot army. By the way, none of this is woke. I'm just letting you know exactly what happened in the story. Buzz Lightyear meets up with the ancestors of his previous crew, and together they fight the robot menace. Now, here's what I liked about the movie. Buzz Lightyear. He's a strong lead male character. He's confident and he's heroic. That's how a man should be. And here's what I don't like. Forced diversity. Here's what the cast looks like. White main character, lesbian, another lesbian, and a robot cat named Socks, which obviously means the Clintons had something to do with all of this. Also, what I didn't like was that Buzz Lightyear doesn't get a girlfriend in this movie. What's up with that? You know who Buzz's girlfriend was in Toy Story? That's right, Jesse the Teenage Cowgirl. That's some alpha shit. Also, what I didn't like was this guy who kept getting up to use the bathroom in the middle of the movie. And uh, in the end, it turned out that an evil Buzz Lightyear from the future was the main bad guy, and Buzz saves the day, and a lesson of courage and heroism by literally killing himself. And uh, all, all the woke stuff, that the woke stuff's all in the beginning of the movie, but you know what? That's kind of worse, isn't it? By front-loading it, you're going to guarantee that children see this. Yeah, well, somehow there's still people out there just begging for this inclusive, woke bullshit in our children's entertainment. And they don't even know how brainwashed they are, just getting fed the same talking points over and over and over again to get that dopamine rush of feeling like they're in the right. And that's why I'm glad I've got all my anti-woke warriors on YouTube to back me up, like this guy. This film totally flops in the box office. Get woke, go broke. <laughs> yeah, that's our phrase. And play. This horrendous film that Disney released this weekend in theaters that is hell-bent on destroying the legacy of Buzz Lightyear has been completely falling apart already in the box office. Wait, who's who's talking right now? There's just way too much shit on the screen. I can't I can't find the where the guy. Oh, there he is, all the way down there in a tiny box in the corner. Seeing people start to wake up to see, hey, maybe I shouldn't take my kids to go see this movie. Maybe I should go support this movie instead. Many of us do not want to see that and refuse to show it to our children. I have gay parents and I do not want to see my personal hell lied about or idealized on screen. Oh, she has gay parents? Ew, fuck you, bitch. Some of you might be thinking, why is this such a big deal? It's just Buzz Lightyear. He's just a cartoon space dude. Well, the whole reason why it's a big deal is because this is exactly the neo-Marxist type of mentality where you have to 
destroy everything that was old that people loved in order to rebuild a new future where everything is made in the woke leftist ideology. Yeah, that's what that two-second kiss was for. Buzz Lightyear has been cucked. He has been basically dwindled down to nothing more than a little soy boy. Man, this, there's just so much shit on the screen. I can't pay attention to anything this guy's saying because he's, he's just in the tiny little corner camera. Let, let's find another video. Disney decided to pander to woke lunatics. And All right, now, where's where's this guy hiding? It, oh, shit, there he is. At the box office. You get what you fucking deserve if you're Pixar, if you're Disney, and if you're these activists who are continuing to place identity politics ahead of entertainment. Yeah, that's what you get for pandering, Disney, you bunch of fucking groomers. All right, well, this video doesn't have a tiny corner camera, but it does have a tiny corner news story that's impossible to read while the Lightyear movie trailer plays for full screen behind it and another tiny corner camera I, you know i would just love to see a little more creativity in in my fellow anti-woke youtubers i think it might help people take us more seriously oh here we go but the woke tide is turning and more and more articles are appearing in the mainstream media specifically throwing shade on wokeness and saying it's time to abandon wokeness and return to the sensible center as i've said all along Oh, yeah, this guy's doing a whole character. Now, this has my attention. And it lends a great deal of credence to those of us who have been warning Disney to cut out the woke crap and get back to making wholesome and politically neutral entertainment for the sensible center of the American mainstream. All right, well, he's just kind of repeating everything I've already said, but he's got skits. Alas, poor Disney. I knew it, Horatio. A company of infinite jest of most excellent fancy before the dark times before the wokeness. Hey, I got a snappy sidekick character too. Isn't that right, Robot? I think schools should teach both sides of the Holocaust. Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> oh, fuck, I missed the whole video. Ah, whatever. We, we knew what he was going to say, so I can I can just leave my comment based on that. I'm nine years old, and when I saw this scene, it made me really confused. I looked over at my two moms and asked what was happening, and they just told me to shut up and finish my estrogen smoothie. I guess they weren't ready to talk about it, and I'm mad at Disney for showing me something I wasn't supposed to see yet, and would otherwise never see in real life, or by Googling woman kiss. And ever since watching this movie, I've been having funny thoughts about other boys at school. Luckily, my family is friends with a Catholic priest, so he suggested we have a sleepover and talk about it can't wait to feel safe again and post all right well even if you don't believe that there's any actual evil intentions behind all of this woke late year disney bullshit obviously you can see how transparent it is right i mean do you seriously think that disney gives a fuck about gay rights no of course not I, all they care about is profits that's why whenever they add this stuff into their movies they make it really easy to cut out for international audiences in countries where their governments have outlawed any mention of homosexuality and people who only care about profits they're the real enemy all right now today's video is brought to you by raycon okay we got two guards outside oh look out on the roof huh hey oh hey are you getting all this no sorry i had my raycons in why are you wearing Raycons? We're on a recon mission. No, we're on a Raycon mission. Rayconnaissance. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Yes, it does, Dale. We're on a Raycon mission. Command told us to come here and listen to our everyday earbuds that we got from buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off. I'm done talking to you. Oh, oh, hey, there's a car pulling up. Wait a second. Where are your Raycons, Dale? I don't have any goddamn Raycons, Curtis, because I'm on a recon mission. I don't want to be listening to music while I'm looking through the binoculars because I'm on a recon mission. Well, you're missing out on some next level bass, I'll tell you that. Plus, you can pick between three sound profiles to match whatever you're listening to. Holy shit, that's Joey DeChicho. We gotta call this in. That's not a problem because with my everyday earbuds, I can answer calls with a push of a button. Tell the team, give me status update on the recon mission. Hey, yeah, command the... Wait, did you say Raycon mission? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I want you guys to enjoy those Raycons with their 32 hours of battery life and 8 hours of continuous playtime. Oh, uh, okay, but uh, hey, I got eyes on Joey DiCiccio up here. Joey De who? Who cares? Unless that's some burnt out New York comedian with a fledgling podcast that you love listening to on your Raycon everyday earbuds, I don't fucking care. This is Command out. Okay. You were right. It's a Raycon mission. I don't have any Raycons. Well, you're in luck, Dale, because I got you an extra pair. Ooh, 
That's some nice packaging right there. Right? Whoa, fuck your mother. What are these? Some kind of uh, customizable gel tips so that I get the perfect fit with my Raycons every single time? You bet your fucking dick. Oh, that's a snug fit. I bet these things won't even fall out. Why don't you try it, pussy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nah, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! Do we call this in? Nah, Raycon mission. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'm gonna play some music. I'll join you. Fire in the hole! Wow, I really like that one Kate Bush song. The rest of them suck. What? What? Buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off. All right, well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Woke Watch. Tune in three hours from now when I'll have a brand new video discussing the recently announced standalone movie for fan favorite Woody from Toy Story. That's right, Woody's getting his own. Let's hope it's not woke. There's a sneak preview up right now, and it's only available in VR, so let's uh, let's give it a gander. How, Parker, what are you up to? Whoa there, cowboy. What happened to your clothes? All right, this all seems pretty family-friendly so far. Uh, wait a second. Where, where's, where'd Jesse go? Huh? Oh, f what the fuck? Now on the NeonGrizzly.com store, you can get yourself this brand new Frog Pile shirt. That's right, much like your children, these frogs return gay because of illicit materials sent to them from the government. And we're here to pay them tribute in the form of tank tops, shirts, and, yes, sweatshirts. And they will live on forever as stickers as well. I'll tell you what, nothing says heterosexual pride like a tie-dye tank top. Get your seizure investigations tie-dye tank top. Look at this variation right here. This thing is goddamn beautiful. Too bad it's sold out, you stupid bitch. You missed out. You should have been following Neon Grizzly on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. That way you're gonna figure out when the newest drops hit and you might not miss out. Although you can still buy it as a t-shirt. We got all that and much, much more on the neongrizzly.com store. By the way, speaking of grooming, we want to put this on your baby. Uh, big money. money, money, money.